But first, let me get a drink of water. Cold as water. There's not much ice left in here. This is Saturday, November 12th. I filled this up Tuesday morning, November 8th. It's been sitting on my floor the whole time. This is the half gallon size. And a straw to fix, yeah. Ice has lasted in there for four days. But first, let's talk about Ashley Furniture. I worked for Ashley Furniture for seven years. Ashley Furniture, Walmart, and Tyson are all private carriers. So this is the side-by-side -side comparisons, the pros and the cons of each company, of each company's private fleet. First is Ashley Furniture. Like I said, I worked there seven years. A week over seven years. One of their pros, I had three weeks vacation when I quit. One of their cons, you use a vacation day or more, they make your life a living hell. Or at least they did with me, because I was one of the hard workers. I would get the crap runs for a week before, usually in two, three weeks afterwards. That's one of the cons of Ashley Furniture. Another con of Ashley Furniture. For the most part, it was 34 and out the door. Because I was always the only one that was there key saying you're the only one I was a hard worker I did close to 150,000 miles a year with Ashley so I would come in late like on Sunday and he would like, want me to leave out as soon as my 34 was up Tuesday morning there's been many a time I slept in that truck Monday night to leave out as soon as my 34 was up Tuesday at 4 o'clock in the morning or whatever because I was the only one and this load was hot and I was the only one who could do it. So seven years of basically 34 and out the door, 24 out the door at the house was one of the reasons why I don't want to have, be home every week. I got burnt out being home for less than 24 hours actually at home home. Cause it takes a you know, half hour to load up the truck. It takes you a, well, a little bit to drive to your house. I was 35 miles away. And then when you go home, you gotta unpack, take a shower, throw all your clothes in the washer. So, you know, I, it'd be dark when I get home. So you can't do nothing. It's already, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. And a lot of times, I was back in the truck about 24, 30 hours to leave back out at 34 hours. I got burnt out on that. So that's why I quit. My buddy talked me into going to Walmart because Walmart was the best thing. I wasn't actually looking to go somewhere, but he talked me into it. So Walmart, I got hired. I've done videos about Walmart, the pros and cons. One of the major cons I don't like about Walmart, I don't like how they micromanage. I don't like some of their policies I've talked about. But the trucking part, yeah, they get more home time. They're home every week. It depends on what schedule you are. You could be on the 6-2, 6-3. So you could be out 6, be home for 2 or 3 or whatever. Or 5 and 2. It all depends on what schedules are available and what you book. But a lot of times you have to share a truck. That was a major con for me. When I quit Ashley Furniture that week, uh, Christmas, I took that week of Christmas off between Christmas and New Year's. They put a smoker in my truck. First time they've ever had anybody in my truck for overnight. Well, I come back in my truck. They detailed it. They even armor all the floor mats. And I almost slipped and busted my butt of several times beginning in January of 2022. I get in it, I smell the cigarettes. And I jump my boss's butt for it. Oh, I had it detailed. I was hoping you didn't smell it. Uh, yeah. Four days later, I go home. 
I test positive for COVID the next day and I was out for 10 days. Yeah. Main reason I think I got COVID is because they put another driver in my truck. That's why I don't like doing share a truck. So Walmart, it could be three guys, the two trucks. I don't like that aspect. Main reason why I'm glad I didn't get a Walmart. I talked about the policies, whatever. Second thing is, you go home for vacation. They give you a lot of vacation time. It's one of their selling points, 17 days or whatever that is. You go on vacation. Somebody could be driving your truck while you're home. Or if you're home for two days, somebody could be in your truck. If you have a permanently assigned truck to you, which is hard to get, at least it was then. Not sure about now, but whatever. I don't like that aspect of other people sharing trucks. Okay, so I didn't get hired at Walmart. No skin off my butt. Come here to Tyson, another private company. Tyson, I could be out, I could be home every week if I want it, but it's basically the 34 and out the door. I could be out two weeks and get two to three days home. I could be out three weeks, get three to four days home. So I do three to four weeks out and I go home for four days or more. Well, Week before I went home for my birthday and going to the wedding last week. Yes, I'm 50 years old now. Uh, I delivered in South Carolina, 80 miles from my terminal. I needed a 34. I went home. They said, yeah, go home. You're close enough. Just go home. I went home for a 34. I was more than happy to do the 34 and out the door because I was coming back in a couple of days. So I did a trip to Pennsylvania and I did a trip back and I'm at home. I got home Friday, the end of October. Friday night about 10 o'clock I got home. I didn't leave out until November 8th after lunch. I voted first, then I went to the chiropractor, which I started going to chiropractor. It's helping my neck and back out. I've done two visits so far. Sharon, uh, I think allows me to have 34 visits a year. So, And they... No, I'm a truck driver. They said, yeah, as soon as you come in in, in town or whatever you got time, stop on in if we're open. We'll get you in. I walked in Tuesday without an appointment. I was out 15 minutes later. Can't beat that. But here at Tyson, I can be home as much as I want. If I want to be home every week or every two weeks, every three weeks, whatever. I like that aspect. I'm down here in Missouri. I couldn't do that with Ashley. Ashley, I was... Couldn't cross the Mississippi River for the most part. Tyson, I've been all the way out to South. I've been to Wyoming. I've been to Air, uh, New Mexico. I've been to Texas. Now I'm headed up to Minnesota. That my truck, this truck here, sat at the yard Friday, the end of October, all the way until I left November eighth. No one even cranked this truck. The truck didn't move. No one touched it. No one fooled with it. If I would have been at Walmart, somebody else would have been two, probably two or three drivers would have been in my truck those 10 days I was home. How did I get 10 days home, you ask? Well, I was out for four and a half weeks. That gives me five days off. Vacation is five days. So that was my 10 days. That's how I got 10 days off, no problems. I could have took more off if I wanted, but I wanted to have a check for this week. So I got a check last week, didn't work. I got a hell of a good check. So, now the pros I like about Ashley Furniture and Tyson Foods I like over Walmart is the trailers. If you pull a dry van at Walmart, or spring ride, spring ride trailer. That means every bump and jump, it's rough on your back. You feel it worse than air ride. Now the ref refrigerated trailers, I believe, are air suspension. When I went through onboarding, all they had was dry vans. So I heard they had air van, uh, 
Like I said, link will be down below for coldest water bottle. I heard the air, uh, reefers are air suspension, air ride. I haven't paid attention to look every time I'm in a Walmart distribution center. Now, Ashley Furniture does pay detention time if you're at a place every two hours after your appointment. Tyson Foods does not. Walmart, you get dock time and all that you, you know, they pay for just about everything i think you have to give them 45 minutes and then you're on the clock your hourly rate at walmart that's one of the downfalls at tyson is no detention time but one of the pluses here is we could get a hundred dollar layover real easy here at tyson if we sit 12 hours it's a hundred dollar layover we go under 200 miles in 12 hours, that's a $100 layover. So it's easy to get the $100 layover. Walmart, Ashley, they give you $75 after 16 hours of sitting. But you have to pull teeth to get you 75 bucks. Walmart, I'm not exactly sure about their layovers. I don't think they usually sit you much to get a layover. I know they pay you per diem and all. Uh, they pay you different things at Walmart. Tyson were eligible to get paid per diem. Twelve and a half cents of my wage is cash. Forty-seven and a half cents of my other is what I get paid. Taxed. So some of my money is cash. Some of my money is taxed. Ashley Furniture. It's one hundred percent taxed. When the, Trump, uh, when the Trump tax deal came out a couple years ago and they'd done away with us writing per diem off, what I used to do is write it off at the end of the year. They've done away with that for company drivers. So I asked Ashley Furniture three years ago, can we get paid per diem? No, we're not going to do that. So the drivers lost money right there off the bat. Spoli, Ashley was talking about giving their drivers rate, uh, a pay raise this year. Two weeks later, two, three weeks later, oh, sorry, we can't give you a pay raise. <sighs> so that's one of the downfalls at Ashley, at Ashley Furniture, no per diem. It's hard to get detention time. I mean, get layovers. Detention time was, you had to call them a half hour before you're, you're on the clock for detention. And then you had, and if you don't, you get it, you don't get approved for it. And then after you get empty, you have to call them up again and say, hey, I'm done emptying. Then they give you your $16 an hour or whatever it was for sitting at the dock. Detention. Like I said, here at Tyson, no detention. That's one of the downfalls about Tyson. When I started here at Tyson, you had to have the jab for COVID. As of last Monday, two Mondays ago now, it's been almost two weeks. They've done away with the vaccine mandate here at Tyson Foods. So if you're an old Tyson driver and you quit because of that mandate, it's off. If you want to come back, come on back. So if you have any more comments or questions about Ashley Furniture, about Walmart or Tyson Foods, let me know. Link down will be down, down below for Tyson Foods if you want to apply. Like I said, even if you're a previous employee here, apply they're needing drivers we need good drivers everyone needs good drivers but that's my pros and cons of every company what do you you have any other comments if you're new hit that subscribe button thumb up the video and i'll talk to you later you all have a great day and like i said coldest water bottle link will be down below too with the tyson check them out have a great day Oh, by the way, it's cold here in Kansas City. It was under 27 degrees. And I'm headed to Minnesota, and I bet you it's going to be colder. Y'all have a great day. Keep it between the uh, ditches. <laughs>
and piggyback my career until I started here at Tyson beginning of March 2022. But before I went to Tyson, I tried Walmart onboarding. Yes, I did videos about, I didn't pass onboarding. And yes, I will not go back. The things, their policies is why I will not go back. Their driver trainers, CDTs, whatever, at onboarding has put a bad taste in my mouth for the company. Two dry, you, know, you, you talk to different ones, and they all had different things, what the policy was, blah, blah, blah. I've done videos about it. Been at Tyson since March. End of February, last day of February, beginning of March. Here at Tyson, six months, you get a week's vacation. So, seven months I've been with Tyson. Let's do some comparisons between Tyson Foods and Walmart Transportation. And we could throw Ashley Furniture in because I work for them too. So let's do some comparisons, pros and cons of each company. So, let's cue that intro. <laughs> 